Hi, this is Dale from EV Pools. Today I'm going to show you how to test the chlorine level, the free chlorine and the combined chlorine levels in your pool. Chlorine and pH are very important. Chlorine, what it does, it sanitizes your water. You always want to have a residual amount of chlorine in your pool water. So the first thing, we're using a Taylor test kit here. Uh, first thing you want to do is make sure the tester is clean. Put some fresh water in, dump it out. You don't dump it back in the pool, you always dump it outside the pool. So we fill up to the 25 millimeter mark, which is right there. We had two dippers of the powder. One, two, and then you swirl it till it's all dissolved. So if there's chlorine in your pool, the sample will turn pink. You can see that it already has turned pink. So the next step is we found out, find out how much chlorine you have in your pool. So that's dissolved now. So what we do is we add this reagent and we count the drops. So each drop is 0.2 parts per million. So we added 0.2, swirl it. So what will happen is this will turn clear once we reach the chlorine level. So that's 0.4, 0.6, 0.8, 1 part per million, 1.2 parts per million, 1.4 parts per million, 1.6 parts per million. So you can see the sample here is turned completely clear, there's no pink to it. So we have 1.6 parts per million of chlorine. That's within the acceptable range of 1 to 3. Next thing we do is um, we're going to test the combined chlorine. So we had five drops of the, this reagent here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Mix it around. And if there's combined chlorine present, this will turn pink. It turned ever so slightly pink. So we'll go back to this reagent, we'll add one drop, that's 0.2 parts per million, swirl it around, and it turned clear. So now we know we have 0.2 parts per million combined chlorine. That's, when, that's within the acceptable range, you don't want to be any higher than 0.5 parts per million. And having free chlorine in your pool, like we had here, is very important. And keeping the combined chlorine below 0.5 part per million is also very important. Thanks for watching my video.